Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new military video. Today we have the Russian Havoc attack helicopter versus the American Apache. They are very close competitors and with you I would like to check the feature of these machines to find out which one is the best one. But let's start immediately and see you later for the final considerations. Ok, I think we can start with the general specification and the performance. As we can see, both of them have a crew of two sitting in tandem. So the pilot sits in the higher position while the gunner in the lower one. Now, while the Havoc is being produced from 2006, the Apache is being produced from 1986. So in this case the Apache is uh, older. But if we check the latest upgrade, we will notice that the Havoc it was updated just a few years ago in 2016 while the Apache in 2013. So in their latest variant they are not so different in terms of age and electronics in this case. So they are both upgraded uh, constantly during the time, especially the Apache received many upgrades. Now if we check the cost, here there is the first bigger difference. Of course the Apache more expensive, the double of the price, so for AH Apache you can buy two Havoc. This is the first characteristic that uh, we have to consider and in this case the point goes to the Havoc. Now if we check the general characteristic like the empty weight we can see that one has uh, 7900 kilograms of empty weight and uh, 11700 kilograms of uh, maximum takeoff weight. This one uh, for the Havoc while the Apache has uh, 5200 kilograms of empty weight. In this case the Apache is lighter because it's used uh, uh, less armor than the Havoc, so it's not uh, a good point. But on the other side, uh, being lighter should be also more uh, maneuverable or can achieve a better performance that we will see very soon. If we check the maximum torque of weight, here we can see the same. The Havoc is heavier. Now, about the general performance, the Havoc has uh, two engines with a total power of 1640 kilowatts, while the Apache still two engines with a total power of 1500 kilowatts. Now, the engines of the Havoc are uh, a little more powerful but it's also heavier so I think also in this case we can consider them of the same level and both of them have two engines that it's very important because both of these helicopters actually almost every uh, military helicopter can fly with just one engine of course with uh, lower performance but they can still reach the base and uh, land uh, without problems now about the maximum speed here we have uh, 320 km per hour for uh, the Havoc and uh, 305 kilometers per hour for the Apache. Also in this case the Havoc is a little more faster but it's not a so big difference. Of course in this case we are considering the mast, the radar on the top of the helicopter. In this case for the Apache is the longbow radar that it's very famous and uh, I think everyone knows. If we check the cruise speed, both of them have uh, uh, almost the same speed, so 270 km per hour for the Havoc and 280 km per hour for the Apache. And also for the rate climb, in this case the Apache is a little better, but still almost the same. If you want to consider the combat range, the ferry range and the service sailing, also in this case we can notice that the Apache has a little better specs, uh, especially for the ferry range that is much higher. Uh, the ferry range is when the helicopter without uh, payload is needed to reach uh, maybe another base or just uh, to transport the helicopter to a place to another. While the combat range also here is a little higher on the Apache. Same for the service sailing. Uh, in, so in uh, this case for this uh, second part of the first category I think the point goes to the Apache because as we can see only on the maximum speed the Havoc is better. So the Apache gets the second point. Now about the avionics. Here it's a little more tricky to understand but I'll try to make it uh, more simple as possible. We can start with the target tracker. It's the system adopted to track the targets, just like the name says. Uh, in this case we can notice that the Havoc can target air and land targets, while the Apache only land targets. That means the Havoc can uh, in any case target also other helicopters or maybe drones, also aircraft but it's more difficult in this case because also if 
it can uh, track them, it's difficult to hit an airplane in this case, an, a fighter for example, while the Apache in this case only land the targets. There is uh, an, a little exception where sometimes the Apache is provided with uh, anti-air missiles. Then we have the FLIR, in this case we have a more modern FLIR on the Havoc and an older one on the Apache. Interesting that the AH-1Z uh, Viper, another American attack helicopter, still very famous, has a, a third generation FLIR. I don't know why on the Apache they still didn't get it, but until now I didn't find any information about uh, this upgrade. If you have uh, found something more, you can let me know in the comments. Both of them have uh, a mast, that is the radar on top of the main rotor that we also uh, said before. Uh, the Apache has the longbow radar that is very famous, while the Havoc adopted the Kinzhal V mast that it's also very powerful and a very good radar. But uh, Apache also has UAV control. So from the Apache, they can control also UAVs, something that it's not present on the Havoc. In this case, uh, the Havoc wins in terms of uh, FLIR and uh, target tracking because it can engage uh, land and direct targets, while the Apache is better in uh, the other avionics and the UAV control. So in this case, we can say they are equal. Uh, we can give a point of both of them or no point points, it's the same. Another aspect to consider now is the protections, very important of course for military machines, especially uh, helicopters that can be hit from the ground units. From now you can already see that the Havoc has more protections. We can start from the top, we can see that the Havoc is armored to withstand the caliber 23mm, while the Apache only 12.7mm or 23mm but only for the engines and the rotor. So in this case we have uh, the higher protection in the Apache only in some section of the helicopter. And now I think it's also more clear why uh, the Havoc has a higher empty weight. Probably just because it's better armored. Then on the Havoc we can find another important feature the Vitebes. I hope the name is right. And this is a full automatic warning system. This means that the computer automatically analyzes the danger and try to find the best solution and activate automatically, for example, the chaff or contour mesures. And this is a very good help for the pilots. Then we can notice that uh, both of them have a radar warning, a radar interferometer, a laser warning, missile warning, infrared jammer. Both of them have a flare and chaff dispenser. And then uh, another important important characteristic, I think maybe almost uh, the most important, the bulletproof glass. As we can see, the Apache doesn't have a bulletproof glass, while the Havoc yes. Uh, the Apache has uh, the bulletproof glass present only between the pilot and the gunner, so between them there is a glass and that one is bulletproof. But it's not the same for the wall glass, and uh, I think this is very important, especially if we consider the Apache has a large windows. Okay, it's not so common to hit the pilot directly, but it's possible. And actually this really happened in the past. If you want, I leave you a link in the description of the video so you can check the source. So in this case, for the protection, we can say that the winner is the Havoc because it's more armored, has bulletproof glass, I think it's a totally winner. And now for the last part of the video, we can analyze the weapons. I think we can start from the top, so from the guns. As we can see, both of them have a 30mm cannon, but in this case there is a little difference. The 30mm cannon of the Havoc has a 4000 meters of range, that is quite important. While the 30mm cannon of the Apache has only 2600 meters of range. So in this case, the range makes the main difference here. The Havoc also has the possibility to add four more guns in pods under the wings and they are 23 millimeters and with a range of 2,500 meters. These one are not so common, so I don't think we have to consider it, but uh, it's still important that there is this possibility. It can add also up to other four guns if needed. But also if only for a little, here the guns are better on the Havoc, so for now the point uh, goes to the Havoc. Now we have to consider the rockets. We have for the Havoc 20 80mm rockets uh, in four pods or five 122mm rockets still in uh, four pods. For the Apache we have uh, 19 70mm rockets. Here we can notice the number 20 versus 19, they are almost the same. 
and also for the millimeters we have 80 millimeters versus 70 millimeters it's not a so big difference but the higher difference it's about the range here as we can see the apache is the real winner because we have 8000 meters versus 4500 meters so the hydra i think they are the winner here havoc also has the possibility to add 122 millimeters uh, rockets with 6000 meters of range more powerful but we have only five of them in four pods so a total of 20 missiles i think on the rockets the apache is the winner and now it's time to consider the missiles as we can see we have an eager choice on the havoc also in this category for the apache i think we can start with it because it's easier we have the hellfire as anti-tank guided missiles four of them in four pods so a total of 16 of them and uh, there is the option, as I said before, of two anti-air missiles. In this case, the Stinger with 8,000 meters of range for both the Stinger and the Hellfire. While for the Havoc, we have two kind of anti-tank guided missiles. We can have eight anti-tank guided missiles with 4,000 meters of range and eight with 10,000 meters of range. Also for the Havoc, we have a total of 16 of them. Uh, in this case, we can notice that the 9K118 uh, anti-tank guided missiles have a lower range but if we consider the 9M120D in this case we have 10,000 meters of range so Havoc is the winner in terms of uh, anti-tank guided missiles and if we consider the anti-air missiles it's the same because we have two choices or the Aegla 1V that have uh, 5,000 and 500 meters of range so lower of the Stinger but also in this case we can have also a second possibility with the R73N Vimpel that have 30,000 meters of range, so much higher also in, uh, in this case. So for the missiles, I think with more choices and higher ranges, the winner is again the Havoc. Then for the Havoc, we have also the possibility for bombs and mine dispenser that are optional they are not so important for uh, this kind of a machine but it's still something to consider but i don't want to give a point only for that and we have the final score that is uh, five for the havoc and three for the apache okay as we have seen the havoc is the winner in this video also if they are very close competitors it's still a little better in terms of defense and attack but if you don't agree with me, I would like to know why for you the Apache is better. So let me know in the comments and explain uh, your argument so uh, we can share our ideas and maybe you can give me information that I didn't know and maybe I can change my opinion. For now, I still think the Havoc is a little better, also if they are very close competitors, but there are other machines even much better. If you are interested, let me know in the comments, I'll make a video also uh, about them. And if you are uh, completely new on the argument and would like to know how a military helicopter works or how an helicopter in general works, also the civil one, I made a video that you can find here or in the description of the video that explains how helicopters work. Uh, especially the military helicopters so you will find out uh, any part of a military helicopter and how it works explained in the easiest way possible so you can learn more about these machines and maybe enjoy better this video and then you can check also my top 10 about military helicopters so you can see also other competitors and uh, which one is better of course in the top 10 like in this video i always follow specs and the source that you can find always in the description of the video. So the videos are not based on my personal tasks, also because my favorite helicopter usually are in the lowest position, but it's important that I follow a criteria, so I would like that you do the same. So if you want to give me your opinion and uh, let me know why for you the Apache is better, I would like to know why. Maybe it's, uh, I don't know, more beautiful? Okay, it's a criteria, at least you have a reason. I can tell you, yes, maybe it's more beautiful. Actually it is, the Russian helicopters are quite ugly, but they look strong, so it's still okay. And the video finished here, I hope you enjoyed it, if yes, please leave a like, and let me know if you like that I leave this uh, speaking part only for the end of the video. Let me know if you like this uh, new system, because I would like to continue like this. Until now I was making two videos for a uh, for week, uh, on Tuesday something LEGO related and uh, on Saturday something military related, but from the next week I'm not sure I can continue with two videos a week. Uh, I'll try my best to keep my usual schedule with two videos a week, but I'm not sure because it's 
you know, September, actually we are in October, we are not in September anymore, the vacations and the holidays are finished, we have to start working again, I don't have time, YouTube doesn't pay me so much, so if you want to help, you can share this video with your friends, leave a thumbs up, comment, and help me grow so I can make again more videos. And that's all, so see you next week with fun new content. Bye!